Beyond their innate aesthetic value, trees add practicality to a landscape by blocking the sun and providing cover from the elements. When it comes to planting, however, those two advantages might become disadvantages due to the lack of sunlight and moisture that can impede the growth of many species. There are, thankfully, still a plethora of viable choices that can thrive under these conditions. If you have any doubts about whether or not a plant on this list will thrive in your environment, please refer to the specific care instructions associated with that plant. Number 1. Virginia Virginia are among the most cherished plants in any garden thanks to their huge, glossy leaves and budding bunches of colorful blooms. They are able to thrive in partially shaded areas, and some varieties even produce redder leaves in the fall and winter when grown in poor soil. Due to their sensitivity to both wet soil and high winds, Virginia do best when planted in a protected area. The hardiness zone range for Virginia is 3 to 8. Number 2. Bleeding Heart Bleeding Heart, or Decentra if you prefer the more official name, is a show-stopping addition to any space due to its delicate cascading flowers. Their heart-shaped flowers are undeniably stunning, but even when they aren't in bloom, the finely cut foliage of these plants will be fascinating to see. Most plant species can thrive in the shade of a tree, but it's important to research whether or not a particular hybrid need full light. Typically, they can survive in zones 3 to 9 without any problems. Number 3. Fuchsia Fuchsia plants are native to Central and South America, where their vibrantly colored petals serve as a beacon for passing hummingbirds. As a result of hybridization, they are now available in a dizzying array of colors and patterns, and the fact that they continue to bloom throughout the summer only adds to their popularity among UK gardeners. They shouldn't be exposed to direct sunlight, making a display in the shade of a tree a good option, but keep in mind that their feet must always be kept in moist soil. Zone 6 through 7 Tolerant Fuchsia Number 4. Hosta In this category, not even a hosta is missed. There are hundreds of various types of hostas, so you may choose one with large, variegated leaves or a little delicate alternative. Their colors also span the gamut, from rich, deep greens to somber, grayish blues and even bright whites. While they will survive in dry conditions, they will flourish with a good soaking. The ideal range for growing hostas is USDA hardiness zones 3 through 8. Number 5. Lily of the Valley Although it gets its name from a valley, Lily of the Valley is more likely to be discovered in a forest. Since it can thrive in the deepest parts of a forest, it shouldn't have any trouble thriving in your backyard's shaded position. Lily of the Valley is robust and fast-spreading, so it will offer ample ground cover beneath your trees year after year. The small blossoms look like they may serve as umbrellas for a fairy goddess, and the seductive aroma they emit might indicate a frail creature. The hardiness zone range for Lily of the Valley is 3 to 9. Number 6. Lungwort Lungwort, or pulmonaria, gets its common name from the way its leaves look. You shouldn't dismiss it solely because of its slightly offensive name. This native of Britain has a wide variety of colorful flowers that bees love, and it requires very little care on your part. Despite its name, it does well fine at tree bases, as the video shows. As a rule, you can plant lungwort anywhere from Zone 4 to Zone 8. Number 7. Japanese Spurge There are several different types of pachysandra, ranging from low, dense ground cover to clumped bushes. The attractiveness of the leaves is a feature shared by the vast majority of species. 
Most specimens flower during the warmer months, although its distinctive heavy patina on its leaves is seen year-round. Almost all Pachysandra species prefer partially shaded locations, yet some of the low-growing kinds can become invasive if not managed properly. The hardiness range of the Japanese spurge is from zone 4 to 8. Number 8. Primrose The above photograph, which shows a solitary primrose flower pluckily bursting forth from the area of an old mossy tree, is a perfect example of this species' resilience and tenacity. As its natural environment is the ground of the forest, it is most comfortable there. You can get months of beauty out of some types, and they'll start blooming before nearly anything else in your garden. Primroses do best in USDA plant hardiness zones 3 through 8. Well, thanks for watching video from Catchy Garden. Don't forget to click like and subscribe button to always support our channel. You can also turn on the notification bell to get the latest videos from us. We'll see you in the next videos.